Indiana's economic growth is expected to slow down over the next two years. CBS 4's Hannah Adamson spoke with Governor Holcomb about the latest revenue and Medicaid forecast for the state and how his administration plans to respond. She joins us live now. Good evening, Hannah. Good evening. From today's state budget committee meeting, economists say Indiana is on track for a soft landing. In other words, over the next two fiscal years, growth will slow down to account for inflation, but not to the point of a recession. Governor Holcomb says while the fiscal forecast demonstrates Indiana's strong employment numbers, the Medicaid forecast needs to be addressed. Tuesday, a new report released to the state budget committee showed revenues are exceeding the state's budget plan by roughly $300 million. At the same time, the state will have $500 million fewer dollars to work with than anticipated over the next two years. The report also shows despite 400,000 fewer Hoosiers enrolled in Medicaid, the projected need for Medicaid spending is $1 billion more than anticipated. The good news is we have reserves, so while we may have to tighten our belts in some areas, we can afford to weather these unforeseen impacts and or a cycle. This comes as the IEDC requested nearly $300 million from the state budget committee for economic development projects, but named no companies involved. Democrats calling for more transparency from the quasi-governmental agency. Do we have any signed contracts right now? You don't have a package, you don't have a contract. Why do you need to take this money down today, the same day that we're finding out we got a, about a billion and a half economic problem here? But Governor Holcomb says if the state cuts funds for these projects, that will make matters worse for infrastructure and public health investments. We don't want to lose sight of how we're growing our economy because a growing economy is what funds education, funds health funds all these programs. As for this Medicaid shortfall, Governor Holcomb says his administration will release a plan the first week of session next year, although what exactly that entails and if it includes any steep cuts has yet to be determined. Reporting at the State House, Hannah Adamson, CBS 4 News. Hannah, thank you.